the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. And this is, this is the premier place for all things WWE, multiple times a day, every day, in every way that ends in Y. That's why it's so important to become a channel member. Donate in the comment section with a super thanks donation by hitting the dollar sign. We're going to get into all the rumors, the news, the headlines, and everything WWE backstage, and we even spice in some AEW, but primarily it is the home of WWE breaking news. Now, in an earlier video, we talked about a lot of things, but we're getting into a lot of new things in this one. Rhea Ripley is responding to haters accusing appearance of driving her success just because she's hot, just because Rhea Ripley looks good, just because she looks good under those bright lights. Apparently, for her prettiness, her beautifulness, that is why she is getting pushed. Well, Rhea Ripley is just getting pushed because of that. You see, Rhea only got to where she's at because she's hot, according to a fan online. Not even six months ago, Rhea looks like a man. You guys are the funniest, and yes, I'm laughing at you, not with you. And Rhea Ripley has um, responded in kind of that. It's regrettable that anyone would make negative remarks about Rhea Ripley, but she has shown resilience by brushing off criticism and making it clear that she won't be affected by the negativity from her detractors. For this, she certainly deserves a lot of respect. Also, Jim Ross believes that Sheldon Benjamin would help any locker room amid AEW debut rumors. There is rumors and speculation of Shelton Benjamin going to AEW. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And Rhea Ripley was actually laughing it off. Rhea Ripley was actually laughing off this fan uh, as to what this fan had to say, as if that fan really matters to Rhea Ripley when she is the reigning woman's world champion. Also, Brian Danielson believes that excellent pro wrestling is guaranteed to draw viewers. Well, no, I think you need a story. I think you need an angle. I, I think you need a hook. I think you need much more than just a wrestling match to guaranteed to get great viewers. Also, breaking news, Sean Spears was originally made a bid. He originally made a bid to actually appear at the 2024 Royal Rumble, but we all saw, we all saw what ended up ultimately happening to Sean Spears in the WWE at the end of the day. Also, Kenny Omega endorses John Cena as an ideal face of the entire wrestling industry. Do you agree with that? At the end of the day, your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, a massive championship match is most likely set for WrestleMania Sunday. WWE United States Champion Logan Paul has seemingly confirmed this with his title match at WrestleMania 40. He took to Instagram. The influencer took to Instagram to document his busy week, sharing photos and summarizing his achievements in the post's caption. In doing so, he revealed that he'll be wrestling on WrestleMania 40 Sunday. And among the highlights of Paul's week was the announcement of his triple threat match against Randy Orton and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. Additionally, Paul celebrated his prime hydration, becoming WWE's first center ring sponsor. Paul has held the U.S. title since November 23, clinching the title by defeating Rey Mysterio at Crown Jewel. AEW collision that saw Edge, Adam Copeland, sees not only a viewership decrease for the March 16th episode, but massive attendance issues, guys. Massive attendance issues. And again, Rhea Ripley reacted to fans saying WWE pushes her because she's hot. Again, Rhea Ripley and her response, her reaction to that was top of the line. Also, breaking news on a major return to the blue brand of SmackDown. A former champion returning. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters. Charlotte Flair not appearing at an upcoming SmackDown, despite the fact that she was advertised. She was supposed to come back. She was supposed to get in there. And again, Owen Hart, the WWE Hall of Fame, a lot of rumors, a lot of talk, a lot of speculation of Owen Hart finally taking his rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame. And Parker Bardot's AEW status is being revealed after his massive Triple A debut. Also, a massive championship has been relinquished in the world of professional wrestling, and that being one of the Triple A championships. And ladies and gentlemen, unraveling the origin tale of Hollywood Rock in the WWE. Do you like the fact that The Rock has his original theme song back in? Logan Paul is gloating about an incredible, productive week. And listen to this one, guys. Breaking news on mass, two massive comebacks, either on the road to WrestleMania or a little bit after WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. Trish Stratus and Lita hint at an epic comeback for WWE title challenge. Now, what doesn't make sense about this isn't Trish the one that attacked Lita. We never finished that storyline. We never got over that angle, did we? We never got to find out what the hell was happening. 
in, ladies and gentlemen, DDP is hoping for one more live pro wrestling match, trying to keep it alive. Also, Kyle O'Reilly breaks silence on winning his first match, following his return during his 316 AEW collision. And viewers, fans, and subscribers, a former WCW star, a man that appeared on Monday Night Raw, a man that was in WWE, a man that was during the uh, the whole uh, uh, invasion, uh, you know, a man that admitted, and, and this, this was pretty shocking, a lot of people didn't see this one coming, as did I didn't see this coming, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and, for, and we are going to get into that top story uh, in this video. But again, the AAA Mega Championship has been vacated due to injury. And on this day in 2002, Triple H became the undisputed champion in the main event of WrestleMania 18. Also, Omos, his continued dominance of streaks on WWE Live event continues to be crucial. And... With WWE officials being upset and mad with the game with Triple H, it, it, it appears as if they will probably get over that in, in due time. I don't think anything's going to happen to Triple H. Also, Buff Bagwell explains why he was forced to become an escort and that he shot his father. Yes, Buff Bagwell, who was in the Attitude Hour, who was in WCW, who appeared on Monday Night Raw, who was on Night Show. Buff Bagwell admits to shooting his father. He once shot his own father. And uh, that was pretty shocking. Never seen that one coming. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your premier source for the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most in-depth. Sean's View Entertainment will always come far for all of you. Why? Because if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean's View Entertainment. What are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on everything that we just talked about, everything we just discussed, everything that we just put out there for everyone to see, whether it be on a laptop, a desktop, a cell phone, an iPad, a PC, this is what it means to me. Become a channel member today, and Sean View Entertainment will always tell you the way it's going to be because I am the face that books this freaking place. Subscribe and later.